<coughs> myself ketan patel from mahatma gandhi institute of technical education and research center navsari electrical engineering department subject is testing and commissioning of electrical equipments fourth year eighth semester chapter is safety management Uh, syllabus content first is safety management during operation and maintenance second one is clearance and creep edges third one is electrical shock fourth is need of for earthing and fifth is different method of earthing now first safety management during operation and maintenance uh, significance of safety management in electrical plants Uh, electricity is a dangerous at it can causes shocks burn injuries and tears electricity can also cause sparks fires and explosions safety management is essential at every site to avoid loss to life and property caused by electrical accidents during construction stages and operation maintenance stage of electrical plants during the construction period the civil work erections transportation of equipment etc may be the progress simultaneously and many untrained personnel may be working at site resulting in high risk of accidents the risk of equipment failure shocks explosions etc are higher during first commissioning and energizing as the equipment may have undetected internal fault during operation electrical energy can flow from supply system into the fault and cause explosion overheating or short circuit can cause fires mechanical failures can cause accidents during maintenance the risk of accident exists due to lapses in work permit systems live part in neighborhood not closing of passing switches while working in corroding in dangerous zones etc electrical systems and plants have built in safeguards against abnormal operating conditions fault wrong switching fire etc protective systems detect many abnormal conditions and give alarm switch gear operates automatically and clears the faulty system from rest of the systems switch gear and control gear have several interlocks sequential switching devices safeguards to prevent wrong operations and accidents many ignorant technicians defect such thereby the risk of accidents increases during commissioning some relays and protection systems are bypassed in a hurry to commission resulting in tremendous risk a good site safety management prohibits such lapses by strength field quality checks and tests at every site stages of the project formally accidents were attributed to individual mistakes this theory is no more acceptable as per recently accepted theory accidents occur mainly due to some lapses of site management and not due to individual mistakes alone for example if a person touched a live conductor and got a severe shock why was he allowed to enter a dangerous zone why safety permit system was not introduced why fence and gate was not provided why was the live conductor exposed and accessible why the person was not trained why was the circuit energized from remote and when maintenance was in progress why safety earthing was not provided so the root cause and supporting cause behind an accident are due to management lapses individual is a victimized individual tenantly okay. now objective of self management preventing accidents loss of life and loss of property at every stage of project by appropriate planning procedures actions monitoring and careful follow up now seven principles of safety management first is safety is an important management function of every site management the company and site 
must have a written safety policy. Management must take up the responsibility of implementing the safety policy. Management is responsible for creating safety organizations, set safety objectives, plan, monitor and achieve desired results toward total safety. Second one is accidents are caused by lapse of safety management, unsafe acts and unsafe conditions are due to the some major and several supplementary laps in safety management. Third one is behind one accident there are several chance misses. The accident is culminating effect of multiple causes, one root cause and several supplementary causes. For example, electrical flashover was caused by a person entering in a clearance zone while circuit was live. Principal cause was unsafe act of entering in the clearance zone. Supplementary causes were lapse of management in electrical safety. Following questions are asked why the person was allowed to enter a clearance zone, why safety was not aware about the risk, why person was not aware about the risk, why was he not trained, who gave work permit, why work permit was given with or without making the circuit dead urged. In conclusion, the accident was caused by lapse in safety system. Fourth one is unsafe acts and unsafe conditions can be identified in advance and eliminated at the root. For example, a bare live conductor can be replaced by insulated cable. Oil field transformer can be replaced by dry resin cast transformer. Oil circuit breaker can be replaced by vacuum circuit breaker. Fifth one is for achieving ultimate safety, each link in the safety chain must be helpful. A single weak link makes the whole safety chain weak. First safety links is plant design, equipment designs, storage, civil works, erection, testing and commissioning, operation, maintenance and safety management. So there are the safety chain is formed by safety links. These safety links should be strong for ensuring strong safety chain. Six points is safety management systems and HRD human resources development in safety are the tools of every organization for ensuring safety. For ensuring safety, the company must have safety management systems. The employees and contractors person must be trained to follow the safety management system. Work permit system must be implemented immediately after completion of erections and for handing over the testing commissioning. Every site person should be aware about work permit systems. Safety is a line function in the organization with matrix responsibility. The line referred to the line of authority like a manager, supervisors, workers, each is responsible for creating safe conditions and for safe act. Okay. Now procedure of work permit system, limited work permit, LWP and permission to test PDD. Work permit system first is, is for safety for personal and plant, work plan, work permit on standard form is issued by issuing authority like commissioning managers, site managers, plan managers to the permit holder for specific work in specific zone for specified period. The specific zone is disconnected from the rest of the system by opening all the incoming and outgoing circuits and isolators and other things which is are then closed and the safety interlock key are retained by the institute is the authority. Work permit system must be formulated and enforced before commencement of testing and commissioning and must be enforced through commissioning, operation and maintenance phase of the project. Limited period work LWP. Limited work permit when repair work is carried out on particular equipment in a particular zone of the plant and overall plant need not be shut down. When a particular equipment or zone is to be tested and other plant need not be shut down. 
and third one is permission to test. Testing is generally necessary after major repair or maintenance or modifications in the plant. Permission to test is issued to testing engineer by the site and manager. During the testing of the equipment or plant, the normal operations are withdrawn. Testing are conducted in particular sequence in accordance with the test protocol. During the testing, additional precautions are necessary. Similar to those during anesthesizing table gives example of permit to test. Now the testing gives acknowledgement by singing on the copy of PTT. The PTT is cancelled after return of the PTT by test engineer. Okay. So these are the all of the safety management during operations and maintenance. Okay. Now next is clearance and creepage distance and their significance. Okay. Here this is the figure of difference between clearance and creepage. Okay. This is the blue line dotted line is creepage and this red is clearance. Okay. Here this, this is the air gap. This is the insulating surface. Okay. And these are the conductors. Okay. And this is a insulated barrier. Analytical plant like installation or plant is an assembly of various electrical equipments and associate mechanical and auxiliary equipments. The main equipments are conducted electrically in accordance with the layout diagrams. This equipment save three dimensions length, width and height and are arranged physically in such a way that adequate electrical clearance are provided between phase, phase to earth, work section and live parts, isolating distance etc. To achieve this clearance, the bus bar layout is either in two plants or in three plants. Clearance are important for safety. Clearance mean clear minimum distance between two conducting points separated by air or gas or oil. Clearance should be more than the minimum phase over distance. The person moving in the insulation and working on date or earth equipment or structure should not come in the work section. Clearance should adequate for maintenance for plant and equipment. Clearance are very closely associated with electrical safety design. Minimum phase to ground clearance, phase to phase clearance, ground clearance, isolating clearance, safety clearance, etc. are specified in Indian standards, Indian safety rules and various design specifications of electrical plants and equipment. Safety engineer, design engineer and electrical inspector ensure that the adequate clearance are provided. Creepage distance is the shortest distance between two metallic parts along the surface of solid insulator. The surface leakage currents and surface placeover are influenced by the dis distance. Indian standards, design specification and safety rules specify certain minimum external creepage distance for equipment with reference to voltage level and degree of atmosphere pollution. For heavily polluted industrial area, higher creepage distance are recommended. If for indoor, clear atmosphere, lower creepage are recommended. Clearance and creepage are of interest to safety personnel and plant or equipment designers. Size of equipment, configuration of equipment, three-dimensional configuration of installation is influenced by clearance requirements. The length of insulator and bushings is influenced by clearance requirements. Thus, surface profile of solid insulators is detected by creepage requirements. Here, this is also different figure of clearance and creepage. Okay, this is a clearance. Okay, and this is a creepage. This is in air and this is along surfaces. Okay. So these are the difference between clearance and creepage. Now next is what is electric shock? Okay. And difference between primary shock and secondary shock and how a person gets electric shock 
and curves behind the severity of saw. Okay. Here the line to ground fault energize in metal parts. Okay. And these are the broken terminal. Okay. Uh, this is the ground object, grounded object or surface. Okay. And this is the earthing. If voltage is 120 volt and person's resistance is 1000 ohm so i equal to e by r so 120 volt divided by 1000 ohm equal to 120 milliampere current okay so this is a very large current okay now what is electric saw electricity is a dangerous it can cause dates and fires electric saw is a sudden simultaneously of the nervous systems of human body by flow of electric current through a part of the body. Electric shock is a life threatening situation. Shocks are caused by direct contact with the live conductors or flesh over. Primary shock is an electric shock has higher magnitude of shock current and produce severe psychological harm. The results of primary shocks are irregular heartbeat okay reciprocatory tetans like a continuous contraction of muscles secondary shock is shock has low magnitude of current and does not cause psychologically harm but has annoying effects in voluntary muscles reactions hair raising tickling sensations etc result of secondary shock are annoyance alarm and awareness of loss of balance due to involuntary muscles reactions. Electric current flow through human body is essential for producing shock. Human body gets electric shock when electric current flow through any part of the body due to applied voltage. Difference across the part, the severity of the shock depends on magnitude of current and path of the current through body and time duration flow through brain and heart for more than 15 ampere milliampere are extremely dangerous so here it is 120 milliampere it is very dangerous result of electric shock can differ from simple annoying sensation or secondary shock serious burn injuries to sudden death within a few seconds shock may occur when part of human body bridges two phases wires by direct contact. When part of the human body bridges on phase and earth, two phases and earth by direct contact. When part of the human body bridges two point of same phases at different potential by direct contact. When part of the human body touches two point having potential difference across them due to supply voltage or induced voltage or charged voltage. And third one is phase over involving for part of human body. Severity depends on first is magnitude of current flowing through the parts of the human body, milliampere's magnitude varies with the time during substransient state. Second is waveform of the current flowing through the body DC or 50 Hz AC or impulse or high frequency. Rate of rise of current flow path of current through human body, time duration current flow through the body and additional importance factors are first is human tolerance to electric field current varies from person to person to some extent capability of the person to withstand the effects of shock state of the heart brain and health previous experience phase to heart cycle at the instant of the shock and phase of voltage wave, the way in which muscles contract in reflection to conductor. Whether body is thrown off by muscles reactions are quite attached by muscles contraction or paralysis. The effect of electric shock depends on the voltage, current and duration and also the path of flow. Current through the heart is most dangerous. Okay.
okay uh, the resistance of human body between tip of left hand figure and right hand figure with dry skin is of the order of 10 mega ohms however when the hands are wet the resistance reduces to less than 5000 ohm similarly the resistance of the skin of feet is high when dry and low when wet skin with perforation skin which cuts brushes wounds has relatively low resistance of the order of less than 1000 ohm hence wet surrounding wet skin dirty skin brushed skin are dangerous the electric shock of even 50 volt ac can be dangerous in the wet surroundings shock is the most serious when the current density and touch surface is high and current flow through the heart or brain several deaths takes place every year due to electric shocks at 230 volts ac in residential buildings and industries serious accidents occur particularly in wet surroundings like bathrooms once the person comes in good contact with a live part and is in touch with wet ground he or she cannot get separated from the live parts as his muscles get paralyzed and he get electro cut now third one is need for urging the conductor in the plant are supported or insulated systems the metallic structure and other non current carrying parts are earth via earthing conductor connected to underground earthing mass if earth leakage currents or fault currents from via the earth structure and earthing mass to the ground the persons touching the faulted structure or standing on the plant floor is likely to get electric shock through not touching the conductor here is a figure of the uh, importance of earthing this is the live wire this is a one type of quarter rod and a transformer one phase secondary distribution of the transformer this is the live wire this is the neutral wire okay. and this is the electrical equipment this person is touched with these points okay the fault current passes through the body okay and grounded okay so fault current is passed through the this way okay the earthing system is in electrical plants is designed such so that the touch potential and step potential and the maximum flow current flow through the faulted structure and earth mat is less than the specified limit. Uh, here two important points first is touch potential and second one is step potential. Now what is touch potential? The voltage between the feet on ground and raised finger touching a live part is called touch potential. The touch potential should be less than 30 volt RMS like a 42 voltage peak. Now what is step potential? The voltage between the two separated feet on ground and during flow of fault current through the underground earth mass is step potential. The step potential should be less than 30 volt RMS like a 42 volt peak. Okay. Now, flow of current through any part of human body disturbs the human nervous systems. Human nervous systems act and coordinate various body functions. The central nervous system conducts minute electrical signals between brain and various muscles and part in the body including the heart and the lungs. These internal signals get disturbed due to the flow of electrical currents resulting in electric shock okay now these are the different method of earthing types of grounding systems first is tt earthing systems it earthing systems tns earthing system tncs earthing systems and tnc earthing systems and methods of earthing is First is plate earthing, pipe earthing, earthing through the water main and strip or wire earthing. Okay. Earthing is the most important in electrical appliances. Uh, safety precautions against electric shock in small buildings, small 
swaps and small lb installations safety precautions use soft prop appliances do not use immersion water heater exposed room heaters replace worn out wiring use good quality copper wires for wiring use correct fuse wires miniature circuit breakers are preferred do not allow water leakage seepage in walls over switch boards replace defective switches immediately while working on live wires stand on dry wooden stool use insulated tools however it is safer to switch off the main supply and then touch the wires under repair and so that the system is healthy provide secure earthing to appliances via three pin plug sockets before carrying out repair work switch off the main switch take out the fuse holders and keep with you till completion of repair for okay so earthing is very most important now these are the different method of earthing first example like uh, motor is connected to the earthing systems okay these are the motors these are the isolators and this is the earth continuity conductors okay, okay. and this these two two side two places from this earthing system okay these are the electrodes earth electrodes here it is earthing plate earthing plate or coil or any rod okay and these are the ground level okay this the two terminals is earthing leads okay and these are earthing leads connected with the help of connecting points safety the installation commissioning maintenance work should be carried out with the written permission responsible authorized person a scheme should be adopted to issue permit card authorizing the maintenance work to done steps should be taken by conduct state authorities to ensure safety these steps are first is isolation of the part from live parts during the period of installation testing and maintenance no switching on by mistakes dangerous notice and safety notice should be placed at workplace the neighboring switches should be locked open to avoid switching by third person earthing okay the earthing to work for equipment and conductors should be isolated and then earth by main and earthing connections from all ends and incoming and outgoings proper tool safety device should be provided to the electricians the electrician should be well trained first aid facility and training should be given work permit must be issued to train responsible person only after ensuring that circuit is off earth and safety keys are kept with the authority issuing the work permit switching on must be in elevated by removing the safety key of isolators switching on should be allowed only after completion of work after cancellation of the work permit by the authority that can be caused even on 230 volt installation because of negligence follow up safety rules faithfully take permissions from authorized person for during specific work fill up work permit from get signed work permit from should be returned to issuing authority after completion of work make sure to switch off the supply from all the ends the switching off and switching on should be as per safety rules and with prior permissions of the authorized person the repair maintenance work of high voltage operators should not be undertaken unless the apparatus is made dead and isolator are open and locked a thing switching closed and locked hv conductor should be discharged and connected security to earth place caution notice and dangerous notice near the workplace and near the switching terminals use safety belt gloves hat do not use wet clothes wet shoes and metal tabs watch don't switch on man at work danger 440 don't touch likewise keep barriers ropes around the section under maintenance to clearly indicate maintenance zone 
एंड बाउंड्री ऑफ द नेबरिंग लाइव जोन अर्थ दिन वेरियस मेटेलिक पार्ट ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर बस सेक्शन कंडक्टिंग एटसेट्रा एट टू और मोर प्लेसिस बिफोर कमीशन एट द मेंटेनेंस वॉल बी फेमिलियर विद सर्किट एंड ऑक्सीलरी सप्लाई सर्किट स्विच ऑफ बोथ द रेकमेंडेड प्रिकॉशंस टू बी टेकन वर्किंग ऑन हाई वोल्टेज एपरेटर्स अब सिक्स फिफ्टी वोल्ट नो पर्सन सेल अंडरटेक एनी रिपेयर मेंटेनेंस क्लीनिंग ऑल्टरनेशन और सच वर्क ऑन एनी पार्ट ऑफ द हाई वोल्टेज एपरेटर्स अनलेस सच पार्ट ऑफ द एपरेटर्स कंडक्टर्स आर लाइक अ डेड आइसोलेटेड अर्थ ऑल प्रैक्टिसेबल स्टेप्स टेकन टू लॉक ऑफ फ्रॉम अदर लाइव कंडक्टर्स इलेक्टिवली कनेक्टेड टू द अर्थ एट ऑल पॉइंट ऑफ डिसकनेक्शन ऑफ सप्लाई टू सच एपरेटर्स और बिटवीन सच पॉइंट एंड द पॉइंट ऑफ वर्क कजेंस नोटिस आर फिक्सड स्क्रीन वेर नेसेसरी टू प्रिवेंट एंड क्रेज इन अनसेफ जोन रिलीज फॉर रिपेयर मेंटेनेंस और टेस्ट वर्क बाय द इश्यूज ऑफ अ परमिट टू वर्क और सेंसेशन फॉर द टेस्ट वर्क परमिट इज नॉट इश्यूड अनलेस पर्सन और परमिट होल्डर इज फेमिलियर विद द नेचर ऑफ द वर्क एंड नो सेफ्टी रूल्स चेक द सप्लाई क्लियरेंस बिटवीन द नियरेस्ट लाइव पॉइंट एंड अदर फिजिकल ऑब्जेक्ट ड्यूरिंग मेंटेनेंस बस बार और लेडर्स प्लेटफॉर्म लिफ्टिंग डिवाइस मेटल बार एक्सेट्रा सेफ्टी क्लियरेंस मस्ट हैव बी मेंटेन अदरवाइज द फ्लेस ओवर कैन अकर कीप अर्थ स्क्रीन बिटवीन लाइव जोन एंड मेंटेनेंस जोन प्रिकॉशंस टू बी टेकन बिफोर वर्किंग ऑन मीडियम लो वोल्टेज सिस्टम द कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ शॉक और सीरियस बर्न फ्रॉम सर्किट एसोसिएट विथ मीडियम और लो वोल्टेज सिस्टम्स मे बी वेरी सीरियस और इन सम सर्किस्टेंस फैटल वेन एवर प्रैक्टिसबल देर फॉर वर्क ऑन मीडियम ऑन लो वोल्टेज एपरेटर्स कंडक्टर्स एंड इक्विपमेंट्स सेल बी टर्न वाइल दे आर टेड एंड अर्थेड सो द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ सेफ्टी इज मस्ट इन ऑल इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम्स ओके थैंक यू